everyone welcome to this video in this one we are going to ins we are going to deploy a vm instance using the compute engine within our google cloud platform and we're going to use uh, different features and then once it's deployed we're going to connect to it uh, using ssh from the web console so once you are inside your google platform and you have created a project you can start deploying vm instances within the google cloud they call the virtual machines as virtual machine instances and to get to this you click over here go under the compute engine you can click on it and there is no compute engine that uh, available within this project right now i'm going to create one and some of the things that you have to uh, select is first of all uh, it's it's telling me how much this machine is going to cost okay this is $25.46 monthly estimate that's about 0.035 dollars hourly okay and pay for what you use no upfront cost per second billing so that's good and we have I have $300 credit still remaining so I can use it so the first thing I'm gonna say a test machine that's gonna be the name of the machine label is similar to tags in Azure so I'm gonna say um, uh, compute and maybe I'm gonna call it uh, Debian okay and uh, save now next thing I need to choose a region and a zone so region is the larger geographic area within which Google has multiple zones so for example the central US you can have one two three four five different zones now if I change say if you go to East in this one you actually have three different zones not five so your number of zones will vary depending on which region you are you are selecting so let's choose maybe the USSD as my zone now again read this your region is permanent and zone is also permanent so you have to make this decision at the time of deployment you cannot change it later now the machine configuration you can uh, depending on your workload you can have general purpose compute optimized or memory optimized every time you go uh, your machine time uh, machine type you have multiple different options so you can also uh, see that your series is also changing so compute optimized you have c2 memory so it's pretty easy c compute for c is c2 memory m for m1 and general purpose is should be g1 in my opinion but it's a e2 e series okay now once you i'm going to select the stay in the general purpose and here machine type let's use the the the, the first one uh, shared core you can have either shared core or the standard core in here i'm just going to use the 2 vishu 1 gigs memory okay so let's uh, select that one and you can play around with this one uh, next thing confidential vm series i'm not going to uh, worry about this one for now boot disk debian gnu uh, i'm going to choose for this particular deployment and uh, identity I'm not gonna change anything uh, allow HTTP let's allow both of them and what I want to do in here um, I want to look at few other things uh, let's see over here management so if you see over here that's kind of hidden you have to select in this one if you want to configure more stuff at the time of deployment so if i click on this one i have more options that i can that i can do so management is one under management deletion protection enable deletion protection if you want deletion protection enable instances cannot be deleted so i'm not going to use this one because i would like to delete this instance once i'm done reservation is something uh, usually uh, automatically use create a reservation so usually to save money a lot of time people would use that automation is something that you can use you can add a startup script for example 
what we are gonna do we are say we are gonna install the Apache server so we can uh, quickly do uh, a, a quick bash script and that would be bin bash and then what we'll do we'll just say apt get and then update so that will update your system and then we'll do apt get and then uh, install install and dash y so it's not requesting for your permission then apache 2 so that one should install your apache in my machine now metadata is something you can use custom metadata for an instance uh, this is useful for passing arbitrary values to your project or instance that can be queried uh, by your code on the instance we don't really need that at at this moment but I, I can as well so let's try maybe um, server and uh, I'm just gonna call it Apache okay now availability policy we have some more options in here a pre emptable VM cost much less but it's last only for 24 hours it can be terminated sooner due to system demand so what I'll do I'm just gonna turn it on because I really don't want to use this machine so if it's deleted after 24 hours I don't care uh, on host maintenance this is I don't have any option to choose so automatically it will terminate the instance so if you change that that one to off if you change if I change the preemptibility to off then I have option to choose what do I need to do with this machine okay but I'm just gonna choose this on so this machine will be automatically deleted within 24 hours so we have configured whole bunch let's uh, go back up to the top one more time so it, this is the management so this is a little bit hidden to my in my opinion so you can go to the security under security uh, there are a whole bunch of tabs security what you can do uh, you can uh, turn on the secure boot if you like so there are a couple things that are already turned on turn on the tvpm which is the trusted platform module and integrity monitoring this is also very important if your important system first has changed the google will be able to track it now ssh keys uh, what you can do uh, you can create your own ssh keys if you like and then put it in here uh, for the disk uh, what you are doing delete boot disk when instance is deleted I like to select that one because the, I don't want to waste money on the disk uh, just by forgetting delete deletion of those disk for that is associated with the virtual machine encryption you can let Google to manage your encryption that is default you can also your use customer manage key or you can also have a customer supplied key now the next thing i'm gonna look at is the networking uh, networking again you can provide a network tag for now i am going to go with the default uh, name you can provide even a host name for a custom host name for this particular image say do debian so i'm just gonna chew and just remember uh, that uh, it has to be uh this name uh, will be will be permanent this choice is permanent just remember that one so it's going to create a default network interface and uh, that's about it and then the sole tenancy uh, we i'm just not going to mess with this one at the moment so i have looked at whole bunch of options so mainly these features the management security disk networking and uh, soul latency they're a little bit hidden so you have to go and kind of look look for it if you want to change something and the network interface if you want to change this one you can click on the edit button that is going to give you options for the default network okay uh, and the sub network uh, primary ip address external ip address uh, ephemeral you can uh, means that IP address will be always associated as long as the as the, uh, the virtual machine is running 
uh, IP forwarding if you want to forward uh, IP address from this machine I mean uh, packets to other machines you can keep it on uh, right now I can keep it off okay so we have created whole bunch of and gone through a whole bunch of options so I'm just gonna uh, hit the create and it usually takes uh, just about a minute to create this machine and again you can look at the notification bar over here click on this one so it has now started so and this is done so it took probably 15 seconds or so and yeah there we go and the easiest way to connect to this machine now is just click on the SSH button and it will give you a cloud shell uh, and it will give you the SSH uh, command shell window where you can start messing with this particular virtual machine again uh, it will it will uh, connection via cloud identity proxy failed not authorized you may be able to connect using cloud identity aware proxy so usually it just uh, logs in just without any problem there is uh, some problem with the key it looks like but this is the general uh, way how you create the virtual machine and uh, how you can connect uh, to the virtual machine so right there you know it's now connected and over here uh, we can do uh, cpu info is the pu okay so do um, get um, it's a password all right there we go so it, now you can look at it that i can run uh, all kinds of commands and debian basu is the name of the, the machine that i created and you can look at if config uh, so that command is not available over here at the moment but uh, it's fine so we know that we have a machine that we have connected successfully and we have created in seconds Okay, there are other ways to connect to the machine in another lab. We'll go through and look at how to use the gcloud command and also how to use the SSH client from your local machine uh, to able to connect to this particular virtual machine. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you have learned something. Uh, if you like the video, give me a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.